Did you know that despite being highly skilled, many women in cybersecurity feel like they just don't belong? And that's unfortunate, but it is the power of imposter syndrome. And I've been there. So that's what we're tackling today. Firstly, before I share my story, I want to let you know that you absolutely belong in this dynamic and evolving field. You bring an invaluable perspective that can absolutely reshape the future of cybersecurity. So if you're sitting here today watching this video thinking, do I really belong? Let me break this down for you. Firstly, what is imposter syndrome? It's that inner voice telling you that you're not good enough, that you're a fraud, and that soon everyone will discover the truth that you're not knowledgeable enough, etc. Interestingly, research shows that imposter syndrome is more prevalent among women, particularly in STEM fields like ours, and often influenced by long-standing professional environments that have favored men. Cybersecurity is rapidly evolving. It's a field with a constant learning curve and that makes imposter syndrome even more intense. As a woman, you might feel additional pressure to prove yourself in this traditionally male-dominated field. It's a compounded effect and new joiners often have to be in a state of continuous learning, which is exciting while it can sometimes always be super overwhelming. Let me share a bit of my personal story with you. When I first started as a cybersecurity engineer, what now seems like many moons ago, I often found myself second guessing my skills, my contributions, and despite all of my qualifications that I have worked so hard to get, I questioned the value that I brought to the team. It took time, it took self-reflection, it took the ability for me to implement multiple strategies to overcome this feeling. And I'm gonna share some of my strategies with you and I hope that it helps you out. Firstly is to continue your education. Cybersecurity, it's a lifelong learning space. And that's what you need to embrace. You need to use your knowledge as your first shield against some of these doubts. And I've just found by having a good level of knowledge all the time, it's really helped me with my confidence, especially in team constructs where I need to give a contribution, etc. Secondly, get a mentor. I have had many, many male mentors. And I have often said that that has been one of the most invaluable parts of my career is having the right male mentors and allies to walk with me on this journey. So definitely get yourself a mentor who can push you out of barriers that you didn't think you could go. Next up is to celebrate your achievements no matter how big or how small. It's so easy for us to want more to move to the next step so quickly that we didn't even realize that what we did, even just the smallest thing, has helped us shift towards a better mindset, to recognize our value, to acknowledge that we've actually given a great contribution. Celebrate those wins. That's been instrumental for me. And then perfection is a myth. Nobody is perfect in cybersecurity. Nobody knows it all. There's always something to learn and accepting that you're gonna make mistakes is just part of this process. The fifth one and probably the final one is to speak up. Even when it feels uncomfortable, even when you feel like you have this question but you're in doubt on whether to ask the question, work on speaking up. Even if it's one contribution that you make or one perspective that you share. The thing is that in cybersecurity, the lack of diversity means the lack of unique and different perspectives. And what this means is then we're not doing it right. Like we're not effective against the problem of cybercrime as what we want to be. I personally advocate for more diversity in this industry and the reason for that is because we need 
everyone's views. We need everyone's perspectives. We need everyone to speak up and share a unique approach. So think of it that the value that you bring is your unique perspective, not necessarily any of the knowledge, not solving the technical problem or anything like that, but just your view, your perspective on the problem, your perspective on how you would go about addressing that problem. That is absolutely critical for us to make a difference in this industry. What has probably been one of the most difficult things for me is to speak up and I think finally after a few years in this industry I found my voice and I have been able to speak up probably not as much as I should and I'm working on this and it's a continuous work in progress but this is definitely a critical step now to every single woman watching this know that your presence in cybersecurity matters you bring diversity of thought creativity and strength to this field. Remember that overcoming imposter syndrome is a journey. It's not a one-time fix. And it's about building resilience and recognizing your worth every single day. I really wanna say thank you for watching this video. It has been something that's been super difficult for me to share, but I think that more and more people need to talk about it. I think it touches many, many people in the industry. I know that it doesn't only touch women, you know, based on the statistics, probably a lot more extreme. But I also know a lot of male allies who has gone through this and who has faced these issues. But I hope you found this video encouraging. I hope that you can use some of my strategies to know that even with a few years in this industry and with being technically skilled, with being educated, certified, all of those things, imposter syndrome still creeps up. So if you're a beginner or you're new in the industry and you don't know if you belong, firstly, you belong here. And secondly, all of us go through this and we all need to share and learn from each other on how to overcome this. So please remember to like this video, share it with someone who needs to hear it, drop your comments down below. Let me know if you found this helpful, informative, if this is something that you're struggling with and you have found ways to deal with it, please share it in the comments. Let's all build a community that can be supportive and thrive in cybersecurity. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.